On October 15, 1863, the Confederate Navy's H.L. Hunley sank for the second time during a test run, killing its entire crew of eight. Despite these accidents, the Hunley would later become the first submarine in history to successfully sink an enemy warship. The first sinking occurred on August 29, 1863, when a crew member accidentally caused the submarine to dive too steeply, resulting in the death of five of eight crew members. The Confederates were determined to salvage the vessel using ropes, pulleys, and primitive salvage techniques to lift the sunken submarine and repair it. The October 15, 1863 sinking happened during a test drive off of Charleston's coast, killing not only the crew, but also the submarine's namesake and financier, Horace L. Hunley. The Confederates then added more ballast tanks and improved the submarine's ability to dive and surface more reliably. Despite these challenges, the Hunley was restored to working conditions and sent on its final mission on February 17, 1864, when it successfully attacked and sank the USS Housatonic, marking the first time a submarine sank an enemy warship in combat. This is the first use of a submarine in warfare by Confederate Navy during the American Civil War. It is amazing that such an advanced and deadly technology was being developed and used in the mid 19th century during the Civil War, well before submarines became a standard part of naval warfare.